Joel, I was wondering how you make stuff out of recycled stuff. In order to make stuff out of recycled stuff, it all begins with you. Well, all of us, really. In order to have new products made from recycled material, we need to recycle at home, at school, or at work, parents. By putting items in the recycle bin, we start the process of it being collected by a truck at our house, taken to a material recovery facility, otherwise known as a MRF, it's sent through an inspection process, a hand sorting process, a long ride on more conveyor belts than you can imagine, then bailed up and sent to a manufacturer that will turn the items that we recycle into new products. Like a styrofoam lunch tray from a school or tires off of cars. I bet you didn't know that something could be done about old light bulbs, glass, plastics, milk jugs. Remember, turning stuff into other stuff begins with us recycling. We drank our milk for this morning, and now we're gonna use these to make your toys. That's right, these milk jugs were thrown in the recycle bin, uh -huh. they were processed into new plastic, and that's what's in this box you're leaning on right now. This becomes this. Wow. That by the shredding, the melting, and the pelletizing. Shred it, melt it, make it into these pellets, which, are, which make our toys. I would have no clue. If you would have handed this to me and said, look at this picture frame, look at the great woodwork that we have here, mm -hmm. I would have. Thought it was wood. Absolutely. I yeah. mean, even the grain, you have like grains in here. I don't know if we can see the grain, but. It is, it is, it is magical, actually. And people want to know until they really actually, until I tell them it's, this is polystyrene. This is crazy. Yes. I, I mean, look, I, look at that great. So you put this design on the outside? Well, we'll, we'll there's a machine back there that it kind of puts a, is a roller that gives us that scratchy look. <laughs> yeah. So, so you're it? taking something. Mm -hmm. This is so this is the fantastic part about it. You're taking something that is, was and is a nuisance to a lot of communities. Yes. It's this expanded polystyrene styrofoam. Yes. And you're turning it into something that literally every single one of us in our house probably yes. have on our walls. Exactly. And what is the most popular use for rubber bark? It's about 50-50 playground and landscape. So obviously it's a great playground fill. It has an excellent fall safety rating. So if kids fall in it, they just bounce right off of it. But wow, also for I did. I had a little bit of bounce right there. I'm, just, I'm practicing here. You yeah. see, you see I, I, like, I got some, yeah. uh, some bounce up. That's pretty good. It's a great uh, mulch material. It's a one-time install. You don't have to replace it year after year like wood. It's not going to disintegrate, uh, absorb moisture. Are there any negative effects of having this on your... Uh... There really isn't. It's a, basically an inert material, and the color is non-toxic, non-VOC, so real safe for kids and safe for the environment, too. And all of this came from recycling tires. That's right. That's so cool. You feel good? I mean, yeah. You like, feel awesome. proud? Of course. Absolutely. This is so cool. Well, thank you. Yeah, we're really glad to have it in playgrounds or on, in landscapes and not have it instead in filling up our landfills. So many people out there are curious about where everything goes or what happens to it. Does it really go to a place? Does it really get recycled? And we actually get to show you here. Yes, sir. Do we have more to see? We do. Shall we look at the process? Let's go. At the very end, we wind up with the glass. And as you can see, instead of being white now, the glass is quite clear. Wow. And the, this is ready to go out to recycle. And that very short assembly line, we've taken a full tube of glass, broken it, removed all the mercury from it, separated the glass, the metal, what else? Plastics and the plastics. And now we have the mercury gone, the metal gone, most of the plastic on it looks right. like. And we're just left with glass. Yep. So what are you throwing away here or putting in a landfill? Absolutely nothing. Wow, you're taking something that we all use and we're all familiar with, and you're processing it down to where you're reusing every part of it. Yep. After. Everything is reused. Yep. Now we should take these glass and go make something with it. Here you go. Whoa, 
Well, worms help the whole planet. Instead of taking all the trash, putting it in the landfill, the worms eat it, turn it into worm castings, which is an excellent plant food, and, it, and it's all natural, organic. In yeah. a hungry world, you got food for plants, and you're not wasting everything, burying it in the landfill. By us taking grass clippings and food from our houses or food from school cafeterias or wherever the food comes from, these worms are going to... They convert it into plant food and look, it's, the plants speak for themselves out here and, and everybody that tries them knows that it really works good. Plus, we're not wasting. It took Mother Nature a long time to make all this stuff. Instead of burying it in the landfill, nobody gets any benefit out of it. Yeah. And this way, everybody uh, benefits from it. I'm here with John Davis. Now, John, tell us, why is it so important to recycle? Well, uh, we recycle, A, because this material has values. And we sell this newspaper, and it gets made back in the newspaper. If you didn't use this newspaper, then someone would have to go cut down a tree, chop it up, pulp it, and make newsprint out of it. All of that early chopping, pulping is already taken care of. So there's already the energy in here, plus you're keeping trees in place and in the forest. 